You may be directing this movie, Howard, but what you're asking, we can't do it. Don't tell me I can't do it. Don't tell me it can't be done. You... No, my folks, they're gone now, so it's my money. Now, what I choose to do with that money may seem crazy to those sons of bitches in Houston, and I'm sure as hell it does, but it all makes good sense to me. You got that? Got it. Good. Let me give you a little advice, huh? Why don't you take your oil money? Drill bits? Take, all right, take your drill bit yeah. money, and why don't you put it in the bank? Uh-huh. Because if you continue making the movie the way that you are, there isn't going to be a distributor who won't distribute it. Mm. You're not going to find anybody who wants to see the movie, mm -hmm. and you're not going to have any more oil money. <clears throat> I'm going to, I'm going to attempt to be, uh, honest here. I mean, my reputation's being destroyed, so I might as well lay the cards on the table. Senator Brewster, if you hadn't have gone too far overboard, if you hadn't have put the red-hot iron in my side, I might have been willing to take a shellacking in this publicity spree of yours. I might have been willing to sit back and take a certain amount of abuse, simply because, well, well, I am only a private citizen, whereas you are a senator with all sorts of powers. But I think this goddamn circus has gone on long enough. Quite sufficient. You have called me a liar, sir, in the press. You have called me a liar and a thief and a war profiteer. Witness will restrain his Why comments. not tell the truth for once, Senator? Why not tell the truth that this investigation was really born on the day that TWA first decided to fly to Europe? On the day that TWA first invaded Juan Tripp's territory. Sit down, Mr. Hughes. On the day that TWA first challenged the generally accepted theory that only Juan Tripp's great Pan American Airways had the sacred right to fly the Atlantic. I'm not here to make a speech. Look, this has been a great ride. We've had a hell of a lot of fun. But you're losing $25,000 a day doing this. I'm sorry, Howard. I truly am. Real 10, Mr. Hughes. Mortgage tool co. Every asset. <clears throat> you heard me. If you do that, you could lose everything. Well, I won't. I won't. Now, what do you got for me? The thing is, TWA needs a new plane. A modern plane. Oh, yeah? Kind of plane. Okay. DC-3 has 21 daytime seats and 14 overnight berths. Something bigger. Try 50 seats with a ceiling of 12,000 feet. No. No, 20,000. Think about it, Jack. What does 20,000 feet give you? Less turbulence. Right, because it's above the weather. Jack, we want to fly above the weather. Only 1% of the American population has ever set foot on a commercial airliner. Why? Because they're scared to death, Jack, and they should be. I mean, 7,000 feet is bumpy as shit. You know that. We build a plane that flies above the weather. We could get every man, woman, and child in this country to feel safe up there. An airplane with the ability to fly into the substratosphere, across the country, across the world. Now, that is a future. all records, Howard Hughes outdoes Jules Verne's wildest dreams around the world from New York to New York in four days, even beating Wiley Postmark by over three days. New aviation history is written when his Lockheed monoplane returns swiftly and safely. A daring aviator, a true pioneer of the world's airway.
Power coming up! Power Q, it's just alerted us. He has asked everyone to hold on. Tremendous horsepower ticking up. Let me hear it, Owen! 25 miles per hour! 30! Here we go! Here we go! 35! That goes up to 25! 30! 